ready thick so I will go further and turn off <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much. Our channel name is David and Mary. Uh, today I'm here only. I am the one who is here only. David has gone to do some work outside. But I want to say, continue saying thank you so much. Let us continue subscribing. I want to show you much about Spanish while I'm here in Spain about food, about places, history, culture. So I just want to say thank you for those who have subscribed and those who come across this channel, please, as you watch, subscribe to my channel, support me for this journey. So today I am going to cook lentils. In Spanish, we call lentejas. So I will try to, I will cook the Spanish way. We have two different way, but I will cook uh, the way my mother-in-law like. And uh, next time I will cook like the way other people like also. You know, every family has a different way. But uh, in this house, my mother-in-law has a different way she like to cook her lentils my husband has had his own different way but the ingredients are the same there is only a little bit different thing and some things we omit because we don't like them or they are not very healthy so i will show you how to cook spanish lentils or lentejas amandengu so, thank you so much. Subscribe, like, comment, and let me know what you think about this video. I have uh, lentejas. I already uh, I put in water to make it more soft and quick to cook. I'm going to drain the water and rinse it. Then... Uh, here I have two potatoes, but you can put as many as you want. I have one and a half onion. This one is left over from yesterday, so I can't throw. I have uh, pepper. The Spanish people like this pepper a lot. Uh, they call it pimiento. So you can, if you like it, go, go for this. If you don't like it, go for the other one. And uh, we have, uh, I have two carrots, but I only want to use one and a half out of this. And here I have this machine. You will see what I will do with it. I have salt. I have uh, pimiento dulce. They're spicy. You can call it paprika too. Or sweet capricorn, uh, sweet pepper. Here I have curcuma. So these are all my ingredients. And I have a, a cooking pot here and the spoon. I have a olive oil. You can use the olive oil you think is better for you. And I have Two tomatoes. I have two tomatoes organic, but tomato is an option if you want. If you don't want, you don't put oh, tomato. David like to put tomato very much, so I will add tomato. And we have one big ingredient in Spanish cooking lentils. I don't have, and I don't like it. My mother-in-law also don't like it, so I have omitted that. If you can uh, search what we call uh, chorizo. Chorizo is a um, very big ingredient when you are cooking Spanish lentils. It's something like mutula. Very small, very small like this. 
and uh, around it's mostly in the supermarket but we never use it in this house because of the too much oil and we, yeah it's not very healthy but if you want or if you like it you can go for it so i will use the ingredients i have here to show you how to cook now let's start then I will wash my pimiento. After washing, I will cut this part. I will wash my tomatoes. Then I will wash my zanahoria or carrot. Zanahoria is the name, Spanish name of carrot to say carrot. Zanahoria. I'm done with that. I will go further and peel the onion, the patata. But if you want to omit patata, you can omit too. If you don't like it, you can remove. But if you like it, go for it. Make sure you put uh, patata in water because I don't want to use it now. It will be the last ingredient to, to add in the lentejas. So I will put here. I will start by cutting my onion. You don't need necessarily to cut with formula. You can cut big if you want. But try to cut cubes. So in my pot, I will add olive oil, not too much. That's enough for me. I'm done with it. So into the pot, I forgot to mention two other things. The Spanish always have bay leaves and garlic. Garlic is only for good smell. So I will go further and put my bay leaves. So after that, I will put my onion. So while my onion is cooking, I will turn to continue. Let's continue to cut while the onion is getting soft. Also for the carrot, don't cut with formula because I will have to grind in the machine. This is how my mother-in-law loves like.
then I will cut my paper. Don't cut with formula because I will add here to grind too. Cutting my tomato, but while I cut, continue cutting, I don't forget the onion I need to mix. So my tomato, my tomato is done cut. So I will transfer my tomato in the cooking pot, or I will add in the onion. See, it's a little bit soft, but not too much. So I will add my tomato. Remember, I told you you can add tomato if you want. But it's an option. So while that one is cooking, I will lower the fire and I will go further and cut my garlic. My onion is done. Continue mixing here too. So into that, I will add salt. One small spoon of salt and a half of water. But I will add, if it is not enough, I will put my sweet pepper or pimento dulce. Put according to your like. Then I will add curcuma. So at this point, I will add my garlic. I 
I start to grind carrot and pepper, but you don't need to grind it a lot. That's it. So at this point, I will transfer my grinded carrot and pepper in the pot there. While you are grinding, be careful with this machine while you are removing this. This is very sharp, it can cut you. So I will transfer this in the pot. So at this point, let it cook for like one minute, then I will come to add lentejas. So one minute is done, as you can see. So at this level, I will add lentils or lentejas. very well so I will close and I give it like uh, half a minute, like few seconds, then I will come to add little bit water. Okay, few seconds have passed. Now I will mix. So at this point I will add some water. enough water to make the lentils cook and you know I still have one ingredient I need to add which is on uh, patata patata soak a lot of water so you need to add enough for to take the patata too so I've added some little more So at this point, I will cover my pot, my lentejas, and let them cook. I will give it like around 8 minutes. Then, So as lentejas are cooking, waiting for around 8 minutes or 6, I will show you how the Spanish people love to cut the potato. Before I'm cut, just cutting on the board, but they told me if you just cut, it doesn't cook very well, so I was shown you just cut like this. Doesn't have a formula. See, just prick a little bit like this and you pull. like that until you finish all of it. This will wait here until 
the lentecas are almost in the stage where I can add all tomato, all where I can add patatas. It has been uh, around eight minutes. I open my lentecas and check. So I just need very few minutes. At this point, I'm gonna add my potatoes. So I will add my potatoes. You add slowly to avoid splashing. Then I will mix very well. This potato doesn't need a lot of uh, cooking. Only few minutes, it will be ready. So I will cook again. I will cover again and come back to check in the next four minutes. Now it has passed four minutes. You can see my lentecas is ready. Very thick. So I will go further and turn off. This is Spanish lentecas. Only as I told you, one thing is missing, which is chorito. Kindly continue subscribing to my channel. David and Mary, we love you all. Thank you for all the subscribers. For our new subscribers, thank you too. Subscribe and give us more views, more subscribers. We need to show you more. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.